Hey guys, I am Meg Sylvester and you are watching my weekly series, Life Hacks for the Mind, Body, and Soul. Um, so I want to ask you a question um, and that is, are you feeling super amazing, awesome, great? Do you feel energized? Do you feel just excited to get out of bed? And are you feeling good and happy and healthy all day long? If the answer is yes, I commend you, I bow down, that is amazing, and keep doing what you're doing. But if you were like how I was, and the answer is no, if you are not feeling your best, and you kind of feel like you're maybe skimming through life, or you're laying in bed and really dreading the day, or you've got achy joints, headaches, stomach ache, fatigue, acne, any symptoms like that, I am here to help. So I work with clients just like you, one-on-one, -on -one, to really get you on a path to um, total health and wellness and feeling really good and energized about your life. So if you are interested in learning how we can work together, just shoot me a message and we can set up a free consult. Um, I am here to help. So today I am talking about the three red flags that automatically tell me to turn a package of food over and really look at the ingredients. Um, so food companies have gotten really good at knowing which buzzwords to put on the front of a package that make us just say, yeah, okay, cool, I'm gonna buy this, it's probably healthy because it says this. So today I'm breaking down those three red flags that should automatically tell you, let me turn this package over. Um, and the way, you know, I have a little story about this. Um, several years ago, I decided to um, switch out cow's milk for almond milk. Um, after doing bouts of elimination um, and doing my research, I really noticed that when I took cow's milk out of my diet, I felt better. Um, so I opted to replace cow's milk with almond milk because we still were eating a lot of foods that required milk. Um, and for about a year, I was just going to the grocery store and picking out almond milk, putting it in my cart, and assuming that it was good because it was almond milk, and like almond milk's healthy, right? Um, also, I was choosing my almond milk based off of the label that really spoke to me, and um, you totally know you do that with wine, right? Um, so yeah, I was just, you know, picking out these almond milks because they were pretty, and you know, they said all the things they needed to say, all natural, whatever, and um, putting it in my cart, until one day, this little voice in my head said, turn it over, look at the ingredients. So I did. I turned this box, this package of almond milk over, and I was shocked. There were um, added sugars, there were added um, additives and preservatives and flavors and um, thickening agents. So there was carrageenan, there was added sugar, there were natural flavors, and I, I was stunned. I thought I was just drinking almond milk, but I wasn't. I was drinking a completely processed food. Um, so I started just like reaching for other packages of, of almond milk and was just like stunned. I was like, you know, that grumpy old man in a grocery store, like, <clears throat> like mumbling and like irritated. And, uh, and so I just put it down and said, you know what? Screw this. I'm not, I'm not buying any of it. I'm just going to make it myself. Um, and that really got me thinking, well, what else am I just assuming is safe and healthy just because of what it looks like on the outside? So I have a list of three red flags that should tell you immediately to turn that package over and look at the ingredients and make an informed decision if you want to eat that product or not. So the first one is sugar free. So if you see the word sugar free on the front of a package, Odds are you should probably put it down, back away slowly, and find something else. Um, usually, sugar-free means that it has undergone some sort of chemical process to remove any naturally occurring sugars, and um, that artificial sweeteners are being used to give it taste, so artificial sweeteners and flavorings. Artificial sweeteners, like I talked about in my last video, are not good for you. They are linked to all sorts of symptoms, um, headaches, migraines, fatigue, even linked to cancer and ulcers and tumors. So artificial sweeteners are not something that you wanna be messing with. So if it says sugar-free, turn it over, use that list I sent out last week, 
Um, and if you're interested in receiving that list of additives and preservatives and sugars, just drop a comment and I'll send it over to you. But anyway, sugar-free red flag that it is probably not something that you want to eat because it has undergone a chemical process and lots of crap has been added into it. So if you see sugar-free, make sure to turn it over and look at the label. Excuse me, look at the ingredients. Um, the, the label when regarding sugar that you really want to see that should encourage some confidence in the product you're buying is no sugar added. Okay, so foods like fruits and vegetables and grains, they have naturally occurring sugars that our bodies can process just fine. Um, now we don't want an overabundance of those naturally occurring sugars um, and we don't want that to be the only thing in our diet. But naturally occurring sugars are so much better for you than artificial sweeteners and lots of sugars added to a product. So if a product says no sugar added, it just means that sugar has not been added to the product to make it taste better. So you still want to turn the ingredients over, the, the package over and check and see what's in it. But no sugar added is a much better label than sugar free. Um, so when you see that, turn it over, check the ingredients. The second red flag is gluten-free, okay? So just because it's gluten-free doesn't mean it's healthy. This is something I tell my clients over and over and over again. Well, you know, oh, I got these gluten-free crackers or I ordered the gluten-free fried chicken. Okay, just because it's gluten-free doesn't mean it's healthy. If it says gluten-free, the only thing it doesn't have is gluten. It can have everything else. So I wanna take you on a quick visualization. Skittles. Skittles are a gluten-free product. Imagine taking Skittles out of that like crazy red packaging, putting it into like a white bag with very minimalistic modern writing, um, and it's saying Skittles, but it also saying vegan and gluten-free. And imagine it being placed at the checkout at Whole Foods in this beautiful white bag with modern writing and it has that gluten-free and vegan stamps on the front of it. You'd probably feel much more confident tell your friends, holy crap, I just discovered this amazing candy and it's gluten-free and vegan and it's so good. And in fact, it's just Skittles, okay? So when you see gluten-free, make sure to turn the product over. Don't trust that just because it's gluten-free it's healthy because that is not a guarantee that it's healthy. Gluten-free can have sugar. Gluten-free can have additives and preservatives and flavors and food dyes. It just doesn't have gluten. And today I'm not gonna get into whether or not gluten is good for you because that is a whole other ball game. Um, and I will talk about that one day, but that's not today. So if it says gluten-free, do not assume that it's healthy. Pick it up turn it over, look at the ingredients, and I guarantee you, you'll probably be surprised at some of the ingredients on a package that you thought was healthy. Okay, so remember, gluten-free does not mean healthy, it just means there's no gluten, all right? Um, especially those gluten-free breads. Um, they're usually in the freezer section. Read those ingredients, you'll, you'll probably be surprised. There's a lot of sugar added in some of those. So there are definitely gluten-free products out there that are wonderful and full of great, great ingredients, but there are definitely some that are not good. So remember the Skittle imagery, all right? Um, things can be gluten-free, it doesn't mean they're healthy. And the last red flag is, is I'm, I'm combining two things here, all natural and organic. Um, now, you might be thinking, wait, I thought organic was healthy, and it is, okay? I'd rather see you choose an organic product over a conventional or non-organic product, but just because it says organic or just because it says all natural does not mean that it's good for you. It just means the products in it and the ingredients in it are organic and um, all natural. So high fructose corn syrup by FDA standards is a natural product. High fructose corn syrup is linked to all sorts of terrible symptoms like migraines, seizures, acne, I mean, it's just, it, it's terrible. But uh, according to FDA, it is all natural. So just because you see all natural on the front of a product does not mean that it's healthy. So it should, you know, um, alert you to turn the package over and read the ingredients and you make the decision. Don't let the marketers make the decision for you. You make the decision, all right? So if you see organic, just remember, sugar, sugar can be organic. 
and you need to know whether or not you want to eat that much sugar. So a, an organic product can have loads of sugar and natural flavorings and have no, no nutritional value for you, but it's still organic. So just because you see those words on the front of a package does not mean it's good for you. And I can't emphasize this enough. Just because you see sugar-free on a package, just because you see gluten-free on a package, and just because you see all natural or organic on a package does not mean that by eating it, you're doing yourself a favor. Okay, so it might, but you need, as a consumer, you need to have a heightened awareness of what you are eating. And the reason that I'm doing this video today is to give you the information that marketers have gotten really savvy at putting the right buzzwords on labels to make you just automatically grab it, put it in your cart, and go on without taking two seconds to think, hmm, is this actually a product that I wanna eat? All right, so remember, when you see words on the front of a box that are trying to give you confidence and a peace of mind, <laughs> it's actually, it, it should do the opposite for you. You should be looking at it. So think about this. Does an apple have any claims on the front of it? No, it's an apple. It's a piece of fruit. It doesn't need to claim that it's all natural. Um, some, I mean, it does need to claim that it's organic or not. Um, but, you know, just become a smart and savvy consumer. Look at what's in your food products and make the decision if you want to eat it or not. Um, and start looking for healthy alternatives. So like I said in my past newsletter that I sent out this Monday, I sent out a very simple, easy recipe for homemade almond milk. You'll seriously be surprised by how easy it is. Um, if you're interested in getting that recipe, just comment below and I'll add you to the newsletter and send you um, the um, link to the homemade almond milk. Um, so I would love to hear from you. Comment below and let me know if there's anything that confuses you when you're at the grocery store. And I would love to give you my two cents about it next week. Um, my cat is singing in the background. I hope you're enjoying his serenade. Um, anyway, I hope this information helped you guys. Um, join my newsletter. I have a special announcement and something that's really going to help you guys with picking out healthy alternatives for your foods. Um, so join my newsletter. I'll be sending out an announcement pretty soon. Um, I hope you guys have a really fantastic day. And remember, sugar-free, gluten-free, all natural and organic does not guarantee that it's healthy. Okay, so empower yourself with the knowledge to be a really informed and savvy shopper and start doing your body good. All right, peace and love. Bye.